Good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing this morning? Peggy, good morning. Judy T. Shavani, you're up early. Nice. Tell Mark good morning for me and Shavir. All right, and guys, remember there are YouTube guidelines to the chat. Yes. Hope everybody had a good night, a great weekend. I did, but I'll tell all that piece of nonsense I knew yesterday. Well, I have religiously been walking, right? I've been religiously walking, uh, accomplishing some good miles, right? Um, on Saturday, I actually did 11 kilometers, right? I did 11 kilometers on Saturday. So, I'm on Eddie Hart Savannah, and I see they have these big tractor tires. So, I come home, I see, let me read up a little bit on tire flipping. So, I read up on it, I watch a couple of videos, I watch how to do it properly. So I say, all right, good. Yesterday morning, I wake up bright and early, and I head out to the Eddie Hart Savannah. I do a good bit of walking, I walk for like about 45 minutes, and then I say, all right, good. I go in and flip these tires. Well, I go on after the biggest tire, right? Which was the big tractor tire. I think it was over 200 pounds. I like to tell you. From the time I bend down, I know I couldn't pick it up. So I see, all right, I ain't trying nothing. I go on, it have a track tire now. That one wasn't so heavy. So I bend now, I keep my form and everything, and I did it correctly. And I flip it like about 15 times. And then I flip it back the 15 times to put back the tire in its original position. Guys, by the time I reach home, my back hurting. Now, years ago, I had a little problem with my, with my lower back. Right? I have um, a compressed um, disc. Anyway, I was only hoping that I didn't go and aggravate that. I was just hoping that it's muscular pain. So I come home, I put some little muscle rub on it, that put me through some little exercises that he knows, right? Therapy. Anyway, whole day my back hurt me. Thank the Lord I wake up this morning and it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad, right? So I, I was hoping, I see, Lord, I hope that my back can damage the point where I can't even do some walking. So, it is not that bad, so I could continue with my walking. But, I done with them tires thing for the while. <laughs> I done, I done, I done. Roger, super, what you say, brother? Everything cool? Nice. So, Roger, super in the house. Hey, look, Greg, boy. Greg, what you saying? Nice. Michael Sambrano, good morning, brother. Paramati, good morning. Michael, she say anybody that send regards, send it back. So send it back. Love to you, Christopher Bond, Dolly Mollet, Trezor Ali, FPL Fire, Javed Ganesh in the house, um, Cindy and Vidish, Dolly Mollet and Rachel. Good morning. Nice. So you know me. I ain't wasting time because I'll get hungry just now. Now I am avoiding as much bread as possible, guys. I'm trying to see if I could get mom and dad on board with it, but you know how it is, right? So let me just wash up some okros here, and then I will sit down like long time days, right? I will sit down like long time days, and chat, and I'm cutting up these okros in my, with my hand, right? No, no cutting board. So let me get these okros washed up here quickly, and I'm coming back, guys. Everybody had a great weekend. I certainly did. I certainly did, guys. Nice. Don't worry, I'm gonna be engaging with all you. Yeah? All you just missed that to them.
Kempton, good morning, Nirmala, Amidi on the rain. Yes, no, 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 I couldn't, I couldn't make with the, with the, with the chapter tire, Dolly. I couldn't make, I couldn't make. Yes, Dolly, Judy, I do everything. I bend my knees, I put my, my chest over the load. Remember, I only have custom lifting up pot thing these days, you know. Travel Addict, how are you doing? All right, and you are still in our prayers, you and your entire family. All right, Gina sends her regards to you and hope that everything is shaping up as best could be. Yes, Parvati, how is Basio doing? Ramnat, good morning. Yes, good morning, um, Parvati. Have a blessed watch from Parvati. Okay, nice. So we're going, guys. Yes, you have a great day also, Deal Donna. Yes, so, but, um, travel addict, we hope you're going as best as could be, Gil. Yeah. But I tell you, I love, I love fry okra, you know. I love fry okra. Isaiah Narain, how you going? Long time he see you, eh? Roger Killer, how you going, brother? Yes, brother. Blessings, blessings. I see one of my commenters say, um, that is Jack Jacqueline. She says that she watches your, your channel. No, is either you or Chris Monico? Um, do you know Chris Monico also, Killer? Yes, yeah, so these days, um, guys, I learned to eat without bread. I learned to eat without um, roti. A uh, hot dog on eating my doubles tremendously. Guys, let me share a little information with all you. Sunday, Saturday, right? I went and I eat two doubles. Now, I cut off the soft drink thing totally. I cut it off, right? I'm not drinking soft drinks. So I eat two doubles and when I come home, I say, let me see how much calories in our doubles. Well, generally, like as I average, uh, 350 calories in our doubles, right? So I went and I take a walk. Remember I tell all you, I walk for 11 kilometers, right? Guys, after about an hour, it's only 218 calories that I burn. Maureen Powell, good morning. Yes. Right? And I say, but look at that now, boy. Me ain't even burn out one doubles yet. So, guys, especially if you're not in a position to be exercising, right? If you're not in a position to be exercising, you really have to watch your eating. You have to watch your eating, right? Just carelessly taking up a piece of cake or something just like that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That is a no-no. That is a no-no. I tell you, I don't work for about an hour just to burn 200 calories, you know. So, I'm telling you, I'm making a real effort that, now boy, I know how hard it is to be working. All things fab, blessings. Coffee's a luxury this morning. Yes, nice. Right, so let me make sure I'm... Right, I think I acknowledge everybody so far. So not everything in moderation. Keep up the healthy lifestyle. I try my best. I try my best, Michael. Right? Last week I walked four days. The week before, I walked five days. I already made my walk yesterday. Right? Yesterday I accomplished close to 9,000 footsteps. Yeah. So I try, I try my utmost best. I want to see if I could link up with Lyndon sometime and maybe do some walking in the hills. Yeah. So I want to thank all the moderators for the wonderful job that you all keep doing. Yes, eventually I will I will definitely do that, Dolly. But in the meanwhile, I just making sure this back get back intact. Yeah. Alright, so all in all, how I prepare my things these days. 
all right um not much oil so what i do is you know usually they will train the onions and the garlic to fry up first and then this but then that is come and soak up all the oil right so i'm going to put my pot up some olive oil or coconut oil right throw the scene spread it around nicely and then i'll come back and work on the onions and the garlic and the pepper to train this i want this to fry more than the onion and the pepper the onions and the garlic and the pepper it will fry up anyhow because we're going to leave this right on our low and slow not covered we don't want to turn into pop right nice so i'm going to have this with some eggs this morning right so i try not eat more like to carry vegetables together with egg guys i ain't lifting no weights or anything right all that i'm trying to do is just get rid of some of the fat right and as the fat reduces you will see that muscles will start to become more pronounced because i do have some muscle mass right if you notice here on my arms already it has the appearance as though i'm lifting weights i am not lifting any weights all that's happening is that fat is just going to start to drop off right i'll be good to go some nice fresh coconut oil from Tony Fritz. I want to see if I can get a couple of bottles of these. All right, to put a little markup on it and see if I could, I might probably see if I could get like about 10 bottles, right? And put them up for sale, all right? Karan, good morning, good morning. All right, so Peggy, I know that it's school time right i know that you're a moderator but listen you make sure and focus on little chelsea right don't worry these other ladies and michael zambrano they will handle it all right everybody who i know fpl fire has to go to work right peggy has to get chelsea to school send she's north to work so yes you make sure and see about about chelsea first hey chris monico what you say brother I hope you heard me shout out. We did a shout out to you in, in our video. Right? I am going good, Chris Monico. Yes, your hands will be busy, of course. All right, and Roger's healing out Chris Monico. These two guys are from Kenya. Sharon, how are you doing? Big up to all the people in New Jersey. Right. So we had the pot hotted up nice. Let me get onion and garlic and pepper. Onions, garlic and pepper. And I'm frying this up nice this morning. <coughs> we have a nice piece of yellow pepper going on here. So we let that pot hot up there, guys. This is a real easy breakfast to prepare, you know. Very, very easy breakfast to prepare. Now, what you could do if you want to save on time, 
is you could always make a big pot of takari, right? Can you do some push-ups and burpees every day? Simple, no equipment required. Yes, for sure, right? For sure. And Dimish, for sure. I have a mission. Now, my weight when I started was 212, right? Um, I slowly altered my diet, right? Now, mind you, in between, right? All right, nice. Get to work safely, right? In between, I am um, having my little thing. As you can see, I went out with Dale last week, Sunday. And I had myself some nice fried chicken, that kind of thing. Okay? So in between, yes. But I'm not compromising with our soft drink. I'm not compromising with our soft drink. Right? And I'm making sure, even if it is a calm make a one hour walk or a 45 minute walk, if it's just to go and make a 10 minutes, I'm going. But I'm not letting a day pass without doing it. I ain't doing that. I want to be consistent. As I say, very soon I would not have to be on this pressure medication. So what I was saying is that you could prepare yourself, right? I prepare enough here that lunchtime, I could come and eat some again. All right, so pot is nice and hot. I'm turning it back just a bit. Because this material gets hot very quickly, right? And let me get some coconut oil inside of there. I don't have to be too concerned if I just use a little too much oil because I'm watching my carbohydrates, right? If I was going to eat this together with bread and roti, I had to be careful, right? Right, so... Just go in this just a bit. And I'm looking to spread this out. I want to get as much char on this as possible. I ain't throw anything in here. If I throw the onions, that will interfere with the, the onions. It's going to basically kind of soak up some of the oil. Right? So I'm leaving this to do what it's doing here. Right? And I want it to brown up nice on that side. Now I know this is my sweet spot here on the stove and I'm just leaving this here. And I will continue to work on my onions, my pepper, and my garlic. Three simple ingredients. And salt. I don't ever put black pepper in takaris. I don't. These are the three main ingredients, guys. If it's something like pumpkin I'm doing, I will tend to include some pimentos. I wouldn't necessarily put pimentos in something like okra. Body, yes. I was telling um, mommy, one of the things I want to start to do, guys, is we usually buy mixed parts, right? From a chicken processing plant. I told mommy, I said, mommy, we really and truly, I mean, daddy is recovering from a heart attack that he had a couple of years ago. We really should. We should be using, we should be using chicken breasts, right? So, 
one of the things we're going to do is stop buying the mixed parts which will have like the chicken thighs the wings all right a chicken wing has a lot of fat in it guys believe it or not also that chicken thigh even if you pull out the skin under in between the the meat itself right for those of you who really know about cleaning chicken there is fat within the thigh itself that's what makes it such a delicious piece of meat very 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 juicy right so we like to do without our juice You have a mini chopper rough rough chop all these things and just throw it straight inside of the takari now just imagine you're trying to use a little bit of oil to cook with and you throw this in the oil when you throw in the okros there is no oil left to fry the okros and that's going to encourage you to throw in more oil hence the reason why I throw in the okra first, so that okra is frying. When I throw this in, this will get the fry over a period of time. And you're going to end up with the same flavor. As a matter of fact, you might even end up with a more intense flavor. Because this is going to caramelize. I think the food processor will actually be plenty better because it's going to cut up this finer. And that's good enough there for me. So X is going to be okra. Okra together with some fried eggs. And simple like that, we have that under control. Alright, so guys, thank you God once again for life. Thank you God that we have lived to see yet another new day. May we not waste this opportunity that we have to better ourselves <coughs> where we have failed yesterday we don't want to fail again today all right may we learn to continue to live in love respect all right yes so we moving forward may god protect our chat guys for those of you who may be suffering with some sort of illness right may god be merciful unto you all and Things that we have no control over, we learn to leave it in God's hands. All right, we're not asking or telling God how to do His job. We are responsible for ourselves. The only thing that you have control over, guys, 
is yourself. Anything outside of your mind, you have no control over it. You could probably influence, but you do not have control. All right? So, bearing that in mind, guys, we moving forward. Please let us respect each other in the chat. It's going to make the job of the moderators much easier also. All right? So, let me see if I can pull back and heal out some of the people that I would have missed. All right? Uh, Leslie Ann, good morning. Deborah Lee Fook. Hello, Anton. Yes, we are doing well. We are doing well. Thank you, Deborah. Marina, good morning. Javon, Darian, Siobhan, Shamaya, Jeremiah. Gilbert is again. He loves again the gil. Sana, carbs, protein, vegetable, salad, balance your meals. Yes. So I have also a bowl of fresh salad. Right? So I can have some salad. I don't, I will tell you this, I really don't enjoy eating salad together with the meal. What I prefer to do is sit down and have like a salad plate. The only thing I enjoy salad with is like, let's say I have some tuna, I can eat salad together with tuna. Or maybe if I do like some chicken nuggets or grill some chicken, cut it up into pieces, some nice cubes after and rest it on the salad, no problem. But generally like eating rice and pulling in some of that salad, it's not necessarily, I wasn't cultured that way, yeah? So, let me flip camera here and see how this okra going. All right, so as you can see, we have a nice slow fry going on there. And I'm beginning to get that char that I'm looking for. If, if I raise this fire too high, I'm going to run into a problem. The okra is not going to be able to spring enough. It's going to just start a burn. So I have to go with low and slow here. Now, if I want to encourage a bit of moisture to come out of that, I could add in some salt at this point in time. So let me just get some salt. Right? I'm not going to mix that yet because I do want to interfere with the char on the next side there. Right? I'm just leaving that there alone. Flip. and our coffee here let me hot it up and then we're going back in the original spot we're going in front right we're going in front there a little bit it's been a, a while since we all went to the front there all right Send special regards to my three daughters, Sydney, Sadie, and Suri. This is Daddy saying that I love y'all very much. I hope y'all have a wonderful day today. Also to Brandon and Natalia, sending lots of love to y'all. We all continue to grow in love. All right, and always keep that communication going. It's very important if there are any young ones here listening. All right, communication is the key. To a successful marriage to successful relationships on the whole so keep up with your communication guys all right for those of you who might be married and facing challenges but you really want you hear what i see you really want the both of y'all want the marriage to work it must not be based on anything like let me do it for the children or anything no we have a relationship, right? We have a relationship and it is valuable to us. We don't want to lose it. What are we train it away for?
to go and start over with somebody else, right? When we got together, it was with that intention, all right? The only time the intention changes is when it doesn't change. Maybe you just didn't want it from the start, all right? But for those of you who really had a good intention and you still want to keep to it, put your heads together, all right? Try, get yourself some counseling, all right? But in the meanwhile, what you can do is both play the listening game, all right? Both people try, let people finish their sentences. You never could tell where it may be going. Try at that moment to focus, right? Try to focus. Don't go into these discussions with a distracted mind. Otherwise, you're going to hear your partner saying the wrong thing. All right? You're going to hear your partner saying the wrong thing. So, many times we can see see it based on a little experiment we did here right dad was giving us story mom was listening she didn't know I was gonna ask questions after right but she got maybe like about three of the questions wrong and the reason when we investigated it is because she was thinking about something else so when you are going into serious discussion guys try to make sure that there are no thoughts playing in the background of your mind all right your marriage is a secret thing you want it to work you want it to work do all it takes right and remember you need your higher power you need god in the midst of that you need allah you need the divine right whoever is your higher power you need you need the help from that person all right get somebody involved Get somebody involved. Maybe talk to your im um, the iman, right? Talk to talk to the pundit, the baba. Talk to your spiritual leader. Talk to your pastor. Talk to your priest. Talk to a good friend who you know could be neutral. Hey, listen. We just really want some assistance. Just to listen in, right? But that has to be a trusted friend. But also remember, guys, you could talk about sensitive topics without going into the full details. Of. It is possible to talk about something with anybody. You don't necessarily have to go into the full details. And it isn't even necessary to say, hey, I'm asking something because I'm observing a partner. People don't know you're talking about yourself. Anytime somebody comes, hey, I'm just asking something, but, but it's really, it's a partner going through something. I don't know it's you. I don't know it's you. Right? So, it didn't necessarily fall on that thing. Hey, listen. I have some issues, and we're not going to go too much into details. Right? So, it didn't necessary to ask too much in depth questions. And just present, listen. All the little fine details that is only occurring because of a problem so those fine details in in necessary why she just vexed me quite coming on late why she vexed me because I call her partner 11 o'clock in the night those are just there is a catalyst there is a catalyst there's something that is causing all these problems to surface you understand? Sandra, morning, morning. Today is my birthday and I'm under the weather, but I'm thanking God. Sandra, all right, because you look under the weather just now. Sandra, happy birthday, girl. Happy birthday, Sandra. Sandra is my girl, eh? Sandra is my girl. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Sandra. Happy birthday, dear Sandra. Happy birthday to you. Bo -bo! Yes, Sandra, happy birthday, Gil. Happy birthday, you're under the weather. You're under the weather. Well, let me tell you something. Don't worry, by the time people done here with you, you'll be good to go. Happy birthday, Sandra Gil. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Or happy urge strong as some people say. Alright, so guys.
San Jose Sabbath of the River. But watch me. You see that happy body I don't wish there. I wish she something I get the sun. Yeah, Sandra. Happy birthday. Enjoy your day today. Right? <clears throat> Enjoy your day. Mm-hmm. I wanna be free from inside the head of Sandra. Florence Kalicha ran. How you going, girl? Well, I don't even burn my yoko talk it all, you know, fans. Yes, man. So, Sanja, you're going to be good. You're going to be good. You're going to be good. Don't worry yourself. You're going to be good, girl. Come in, Ramki soon, Mr. Sana. Today is Richard birthday as well. Oh, God. It's only birthday. Richard, I want to wish you a happy birthday, brother. All right, I want to wish you a happy birthday today. Right, Richard is the fellow with the um, with the white truck. Richard, happy birthday, brother. I will give you a different happy birthday here. But Sandra, you go take it too. Happy birthday to you. Hey, happy birthday to you. Hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, Richard. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Hey, big up yourself, Richard. <laughs> All right, so we're going good, guys. We're going good. Hope everybody's in good spirits this morning. All right, remember, you might be under the weather, but everything is going to be alright. Everything is going to be alright. Let me go and check my yoko before my yoko. No, no, no. Because Sandra doesn't sound a few good words. Well, you feel I, I will have bought my okra here. Well, you're mad or what? Nice. So, guys, this has been on a low and slow. Kicking with time. I want it nice and healthy. So, if I cover this, this going on, start to turn to pop. I want to get a little burn going on on the outside here. Now, I do want to stand up by this pot all the time. So, I spread it out as much as possible. And I leave it to do eating. Right, so you see all them onions and things I know through inside of there? That is going to take its time now. And that and all will start to get brown. So, we have to stand up and watch our pot. Mr. Blake in the house, boy. Mr. Blake, how you going, boss? All right, let me just top up my coffee here a little bit. We're going outside a little bit. Do they have to back me or my bird feed in the back here? I see a, and believe it, I see a Ruby Topaz fly past this morning. Yes. So, I have my bird feed and start to pull them in just now. So remember this coming week. I don't know if all you were able to accomplish it this weekend. Right? If you didn't, guys, see if you can organize yourself have a black grind seasoning because it is make your life easy. Right? Um, there are a couple of approaches you could take to your meat. Some people have seized up meat for the whole week, parcel it out in Ziploc bags. Just take it out the night before, if you don't cook in the morning, or before you go to work today. You take out that pack, you put it in the fridge. As soon as you come home, you take it out and you put it on the counter. Right? So by the time you change up your clothes and thing, you could start to do your cooking. Right? So you gotta make your life easy. Right? Make your life easy. I don't mind like eating fresh rice every day. Fresh rice every day, or even if I eat it in again tomorrow, I will then put some water to boil, throw back my rice in there, hot it up nice, straight it out, and I eat it again. Right? So, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Richard and Sandra. Happy birthday to you. Dun, 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 dun. 
And for all of those who locked all right now headed to work, guys, we to work safely, do your duty, and get back home. Leave work problems there. Tomorrow you'll deal with that. You're getting paid to deal with that tomorrow when you go back to work. Right? You ain't going home with that problem. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Right? Nobody ain't stealing your joy today. Work. You had a good weekend? Somebody come with any out of time and talk? Just a smile and walk away. And as you're walking away, throw that problem behind you one time. That man or that woman, them have problems. And all they're trying to do is make your life unhappy too. Right? Learn to ignore. Learn to ignore people. Right? You're working hard on being positive. Right now. Yes, Francis. Thank you, Achises. To send regards also, right? Right now, you are making an investment. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You're investing in something that hopefully somebody in the chat might lift your spirit, right? Celebrating birthdays, somebody might be celebrating an anniversary. Somebody might come into our nongs. Debt, right? We all here for a reason. And we are using the most valuable thing in this world. The most valuable thing in this world is not coal, silver, money. Time. Time is valuable. Right? Time is very valuable. So you can't be investing your time. Right, guys? You cannot be investing your time for your happiness. And then somebody come and just within seconds, within seconds, guys, tell you something and infiltrate your mind. No, our mind, we have to build up enough resistance. Resistance to negativity. We must build it up, guys. We must build it up. We cannot afford to be too sensitive. Because let me tell you something. People is recognize that, you know. People is recognize, hey, I know how to get underneath she skin. Right? I know how to get under she skin. And them coming to work. Here now, them coming to work. With that plan, you know. All right, so happy birthday going out to Diamond Rez, grandson. All right, his name is... What's that? I get my glasses. Malak. Malaki. Right? Malaki is six years old today. Happy birthday to you, Malaki. Coming from Granny Diamond Rez. Happy birthday to you. Mm -hmm. All right, Dolly, no problem. You go and see about Rachel for we. Salif, blessings, my brother. All right, so we have 61 people in the house. All right, so big up to all Deborah Lee folks, family living in the, in the USA and Canada. Deborah Suraj, good morning, good morning. All right, and she sends regards also, uh, Deborah. Yes, so we have three birthdays in the house so far. We have Regal Sandra, and then we have um, Richard's birthday today. And now we're celebrating Diamond Ray's grandson, six years old today. Sixty-five people in the house. 27 people hit the like button. So, Sandra, you still feeling down, girl? Talk to me. You, you know me and you is like peas in a pod. <laughs> what happened to you? You good? Coffee drinking nice, boy. 
yes a podium so the bird feeder is to the back right because there's a guy that does humming bird feeding in the back also so i put the bird feeder where um they could where they could see it and then slowly i will bring it back to the front vishnu good morning good morning So guys remember you could do little things to start to improve your health all right you know cost of eating four two star bread right maybe you could oh okay okay sandra we'll have yourself a nice hot cup of tea or something right fight them man fight them you have to go to work today So on Saturday, I went to drop some soup off of Zach and I saw a whole set of bay leaf trees growing underneath a mango tree. So I said, let me dig out too. Off until Thursday, well, you're good to go, man. You're good. But listen, you just pull yourself together today because you had to celebrate that birthday, you know, Sandra? Right? You have to, you have to celebrate that birthday today. Right, so you try and get better today and watch me. You're gonna rest Tuesday and Wednesday. Yes, yeah, so I dig out two little bee leaf plants. Now, the better thing when you're digging out plants like that is go for the small ones, don't go for the big ones. Right, and here this time, man, I've took them in the ground. You know, this they, they will look a little wilted yesterday. Today, they're standing up nice and sprighty. All right now remember these belief little belief trees were growing under the shade of a mango tree whenever you're going to dig out a plant try to plant it back in a very similar type environment so i put it underneath some plants to to catch themselves i plant them straight into the ground when you think about it you don't need a big belief tree in your yard you know guys or as Dolly say, you just break a branch, right? You don't really have to have a bee leaf tree, but it's nice. It's nice to have a little, a little bee leaf tree, right? If you want to get a fresh, nice piece of bee leaf. Anissa, good morning. Sending lots of love to you too. And Myrtle, good morning. Yeah, you don't need a, a big bee leaf tree. We... I had a small one growing in a pot and then we eventually we put it in the ground right because remember you're going every week and you're picking a little two three branches when it's starts to get a little too tall you just pinch off the top the tree will start to you know spread out a little more so today is brandon's birthday also myrtle's son all right so i want to say happy birthday going out to myrtle's son brandon you know my son name is brandon also myrtle yes so happy birthday to you brandon coming from your loving mom and family all right myrtle you're most welcome um myrtle nice so i hiding up here in the trees here yeah i like to be close to nature you know i love to be close to nature All right, so let me just see something eh that's what i like about this watch just imagine right home here right i have not the only thing i do is walk from that car outside to inside here and just walk around the house i have already done 1400 steps right and i aim in for nothing less than eight thousand a day so i already have something in the bank here Happy birthday going out to Brandon from the next birthday girl, Sandra. So guys, we celebrated four birthdays so far. Becky, good morning to you. Good morning to um Lawrence. Yes, the Sahara, that's just terrible. <clears throat> Fali girl hoof. How you holding in there? How you holding in there? We know the big day is coming. The big day is coming. Right? 
Yes. So yeah, I make him a steps man. So all in the whole is operate. If I come in from in the back to the front, usually I will try to pick up something one time to to make my work valuable. Right? Check the oak rows. Yeah. Two minutes again, I'm not checking it. But thanks for the reminder, Michael. Yes. Right? So I am now I am deliberately leaving things. So I have two cups, for instance, in the caboose. I go to walk, pick them up, carry them back to the front. All right. So I find in ways to do more walking now within the house. Mm-hmm. All right, so Michael, yeah, let me go and check that okro there, boy. You are fry okro, not bun okro. <laughs> ah, yes, it's smelling nice. I didn't burn. So you have to learn to find the sweet spots for your food, right? You need to find the sweet spots. All right, so we're going to flip camera here. Let me see how the oak row going. Right, so you see the oak row, it's not turned into mush. And that onion and pepper and garlic getting time to get a little burn also. All right, so we spread it out again. I love things chat up nicely nice <clears throat> for those of you who may know finish work and head home be careful right reach home safely reach home safely any of you who now waking up right stuck in depression Guys, it's time to fight depression. We want all you to journey out of this terrible state of mind. Aluchoka. Yes, Nadine, Davy, good morning. Good morning to you. All right, if I happen to miss anybody, I apologize. Okay, looking good. Yes. So just a fry two eggs there now and I'm good to go. But as I say, I. I know what you're looking for out of that okra. And the temperature is perfect. Right? I will leave that for the next 5-10 minutes. The longer I leave that is the sweeter it guarantees. <sniffs> yes, guys. I want Patricia Bedo. Good morning. Yes. We want everybody. Everybody. When I say everybody, we want all you coming out. Of that state of mind being stuck in depression guys you could reach to your deathbed being depressed right and i am urging you that you could fight you could fight right thank the lord i, I am always fighting all right i'm glad to know that you reach your work safely very very happy to to know that right you could fight this depression thing you could have peace of mind but you have to work on it you have to work on it so do the normal routine that i always encourage all you first things get up say i would have prayer all right open your curtains open your curtains open your windows let some fresh air come in all right i ain't talking about for those of all who live in the cool countries you know but you can still pull your curtain but leave the window closed right straighten up your bed a little bit right even if you ain't do it too neat you know just start by neatening the two pillows and just tug on the sheets a bit all right if you could fold up your blanket you fold it up baby steps you're walking of course I drink your water like that. Yeah. You know, Imtaz Khan, good morning, good morning. And good morning to Maureen. Right? 
you know, just little things. You're walking and you see one shoe pointing. So, and the next shoe point, let's bend down. Straighten up your shoes. Brush your teeth. Wash your face. Self-care. Right? Take a shave. You know, start to do little things for yourself. Yes, Myrtle. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not the people up in the cold. Not the people up in the cold. Yeah. You know, so do it, man. You don't have you don't have to go to your, your grave. Just stiff this morning. Yeah, I could understand Valley Girl. Yeah. You know, you know don't, don't don't go to your grave in that state now, man. Start to live a little bit. Start to enjoy some happiness. You know? It's possible. It's possible. We see that. We see that it is possible. I sure have people inside that here could vouch that, hey, you know, where they were and where they are now, you know, just based on the positivity that we try to share here with each other. Not that, listen, it might have some people coming in here and they really listen to me, you know, but it have somebody fast might come in here and she know, well, she, she like to connect with, with, I just call her names at random. She like to connect with Florence and she and Florence, they, 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 they share the energy with each other, right? Eva, good morning. Chile, start here in New Jersey. Yes, coolness. Yeah, you know, everybody, everybody is pulling something from, from the other. Right? So, I am sure that everybody could attest that being here, it helps. Right? It helps because we really try our best. Maria Mahade, yo, good morning. Yes, thank you so much. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Nice. Yeah. You know, so I just want everybody to have a lot of happiness, boy. We all deserve it. We all deserve it. Alright. So I want to say a special good morning to Sharice. That is in Mount Hope. Alright. I hope that your situation is improving. Crystal, to you and your husband. All right. I hope that he is recovering well. I hope you yourself are in good spirits. Sandra, thanks for letting us know. Thank you for letting us know. Yeah, so, Valley Girl Hoof and Francis, today is Sandra's birthday, you know. Yeah, today is Sandra's birthday. So, we have 69 people in the house. Omar Balgobin, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the chat. Nice to see you here. Yes, and the okra is smelling good. Really, really good. So we'll go and check it shortly. I I depend on, on the sense of smell. I ain't getting it as yet, so no need to go and check it. You will you will, will you will learn these things, guys. You will learn these things as you begin to cook more and more. You know how to find that sweet spot. Um, you know, the the different degrees of the bungee smell, right? The bungee smell. Right now it's on low and slow. I ain't getting that smell that I'm looking for as yet. So I don't even need to go and check that pot. <clears throat> No, no, no. What happened is that I have the phone a bit far away from me so I could make out little things. But that would be nice if it is that as I take in some steps here, that would be nice if that could come back by um, Imtaz. Hey, and Imtaz, we have, we have the LPG tank of gas. So today I'm going to buy some... Um, some chicken breasts, some eggs, and that kind of thing. So as I'm going out on the road, it's just to buy the 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 head and the hose and we cook it outside. So guys, what we can look forward to in the near future is I'll be making the same kind of simple breakfast, but right outside the caboose. 
right? For those of you who don't know, the caboose is the little room that I stay in. I call it the caboose. Well, always wrong. It might be onto something. Sharon M. Good morning. Good morning. How are you going, Sharon? Yes, so we celebrating four birthdays today, guys. Four birthdays. Diamond Rez, grandson. Today is his birthday. Um, Sandra, Richard, and Myrtle. Myrtle son, Brandon. Thank you very much, Myrtle. Thank you, thank you. Right, so we have four birthdays in the house this morning. Right? Three guys and one girl. And we have 70 people in the house. Guys, we just crossed over the one hour mark. That fly really fast, boy. Yes, so I was telling Ollie, when I started um, this exercising yesterday, I actually made it three weeks exact. I started at 212 pounds, and now I am down to 207. So without too much effort, I throw off five pounds as easy as that. Right? Remember when you now start the exercise, a lot of it is water weight. Right? So yeah i am giving myself all right i mean reasonable right i mean reasonable that okay in between i might make my little cheats my ideal weight is supposed to be 175 pounds right 175 pounds the heaviest that i have ever been was 200 and 60 pounds guys i was 260 pounds at one time i didn't have no neck i used to look like a ninja turtle right i used to look like a ninja turtle right <laughs> and well i got really concerned when i reached 260 pounds so i did an extreme keto ketogenic diet it bring it down but guys, I ain't too sure, right? I ain't too sure that ketogenic diet is a safe thing. I ain't too sure, right? I ain't too sure. I, I understand how it works and everything, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I really don't know, right? Um. Anyway, I was able to come down with that ketogenic diet. I was able to come down to... 210 pounds why really good morning right 210 pounds and then well i went through my whole episode business and guys i went down to 190 pounds but from the 207 i mean the 210 to the 190 it was not a healthy way that i lost the weight antonia antonia right it was not a healthy way so um i was i still purpose in my heart though that i never wanted to cross back 200 pounds of course with the channel and all the eating that i was doing and people inviting me and that kind of thing right i got a bit careless yes moderation is the key michael because we want this to last forever right um i ended up crossing over the 200 pounds and I reached a 212. So I am trying. So which superhero are you looking like now? <laughs> right? I am trying my best now to be systematic about this thing. Guys, me aiming for no to lose our two pounds a week or even a pound. I could wait three quarters. So that is 12 pounds plus 25, 25 and 10 is 35 and 2 37 pounds is what i am targeting to lose 37 pounds i could safely do that by the end of this year i could be done 
to 175 pounds by the end of this year if God's bill without too much effort with moderation moderation in my eating moderation in knowing that hey listen i had enough leisure let me go take a little walk all right and i could do that by just walking a mile to two miles a day so if i up that a bit and decide that hey you see today let me be a little more careful all right let me have just the right amount of protein right remember it's about setting a deficit right so cut back a little on your food because as you could see you could exercise for a whole hour and just lose 200 calories so you definitely need to create a deficit in in terms of calories right so there are there are calorie calculators right based on whether you want to gain weight or lose weight right to aim listen you didn't pour on all this wheat overnight. You slowly gain this wheat. And it's going to be good if you could get rid of it also in a slow manner. The faster you lose weight is the quicker you're going to gain it back. Right? So aim for being real. Maybe half a pound a week. Yes, for everybody that is encouraging, thank you. Thank you very much. Right? And only give him some motivation that hey, I would have to show you that I could do it. Right? I could do it. I could do it. I've got this. I've got this. Time for all you to motivate me. <laughs> right? <laughs> Michael has been trying from inception. Lasana, you gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. So, all right, Deborah, your weakness is ice cream. Don't need to have it every day. Probably you don't. Right? Look. I love to eat a nice piece of chocolate cake. And when I eat in it, if it have a nice frosting on it, I will take off the majority because I find it's really put a little too much of frosting on these things. But I don't eat cake every day. I don't eat cake for weeks. So when you're here, I come across a nice double fudge, juicy, wet, moist chocolate cake. Look, my mouth water there, right? I know, Lasana, you have not been eating cake for over two months. I go in and sit down and eat my cake. <laughs> I go in and eat my cake. I go in and eat my cake. Guys, I can't tell you when last I ate a piece of KFC. The last chicken and chips that I knew I eat was when I went out with Dale and Dee. I love doubles, Anna. I love doubles. And here what happened. I had doubles on Saturday, right? But I didn't have doubles. The last time I had doubles before that was when Anup and Kavita came here. Right? So, here what's going on. When you're here, I go by the doubles, man. I really want to stay with an element at two away. Right? Here what we on. If I want to eat three, if I stay away from bubbles for a month, if I want to eat three doubles, boy, go in and stand up and eat my three doubles. What do you mean? I'm working hard on it, but I ain't eating it every day. You know it at a time. You see when I reached to that 260 pounds? Guys, is every morning. We win at the doubles. Yeah. Yes, Sandra Agri. If you're here, you have the craving, eat it. But you can't afford to have that craving every day. <laughs> oh gosh. Yes. So this is what I'm looking for here, guys. Nice. Now, hear the trick in this. Hear the trick in this. You see all that stuff there? I want to lift it. Because that is where the flavor is. So what I am going to do at this point in time is take this stove off. Right? Spread that out there. And we're going to create a little steam action. Now we're going to get a little moisture coming out from the okra. Right? And all that nice burn stuff to the bottom there, 
we'll just be able to scrape it with the spatula as easy as that all right so i'm particularly hungry at this moment right so that could just stay there when i ready i just fry up a two egg brisk i want to lime and talk with all you a little bit i wear up on my glasses i really don't know Oh God, Santa boy, oh, are you really so? You could really miss pasting. You could really miss pasting. Ah, I ain't doing no work. I sit back. Oh gosh. Nice. But here is everybody, everybody's had their struggles. Everybody's had their struggles. Listen, people, it ain't no lie. It, they were started that. It ain't no lie. I, that man, on a Friday especially, I love to drink my beers. I love to drink beers. I just love beers. Some people got like the rum, whatever. I like my beers. I just like to feel that burning sensation going on, right? So that might be my little struggle in terms of calories. Our next person might be bread, right? Bread with everything. Good. Mommy, she fighting up with diabetes. She might be passing, see something there, can't help it. It's a craving, right? So. I still, at the same point in time, <clears throat> I knew I had my cravings. I might be controlling my eating, but then when Friday come, I want to drink a lot of cold beverages. So I'm not coming down too hard on French fries, yes. I'm not coming down too hard on mommy and daddy because I know everybody, right? Morning, Kels. Hope you're doing good. I, Vashti, Santo, I know everybody had their little weaknesses. I don't want to pest mommy and daddy. I don't want to pest them, right? Because at the end of the day, we ain't supposed to make each other uncomfortable. But you know, sometimes a little gentle reminder, hey, you know, just be careful. You're going to, you're going to need just no mommy. Better you don't eat that, you know, or... As somebody put cheesecake there, right? We might have a little dessert. Well, mommy, just cut back a little bit on the food. We have some dessert coming up, you know? And guys, I will tell you this. Many times, you're eating. Your belly get full, it have a little bit of food left in the plate. Don't, right? Don't be no one mouth police, correct, Dolly, right? Don't force yourself to eat. You might have a dog. It's not like you're wasting the food. Scrape it off, right? Why, why put them extra calories in if you don't want it, right? So we had to learn to change that mentality. If your belly full, stop. If you know you wanna have Deborah, you wanna have your ice cream. If you really want the ice cream so bad, then cut back on half the rice. Cut back on half the rice, yeah? Right? Or do take that extra dinner bun. So, if you know it have a lineup for like dessert, that kind of thing, you know, maybe, okay, look like yesterday. We did rice, a delicious red beans, um, plantains, boiled plantains. We had some we mom did our, our pot roast with, with a piece of pork. Maureen Khan, hello. How you going? Oh gosh. He can do it. He can do it. He can do it. He will do it, man. Them Taz. We getting on board. Easy steps. Easy steps, guys. Easy steps. Right? So um well, as I see, I went and I took my walk in the morning and I had intentions to walk again also yesterday evening when this little injury occurred with my back i say you know something i would not be able to walk this evening so let me control 
this integral. So here what I did. I had one pot spoon of rice, which is just only about 50 calories. But I had like about three pot spoons of that delicious red beans. Right? I had maybe like what will equate to like quarter of a plantain boil. Right? And I had like about four slivers of the pork. But I made sure that I did not eat the fat. Right? I eat that out. I was still a little hungry. So I took another pot spoon of the red beans and then I had a plate of salad. Yes, beans are very good, especially if you have a cholesterol problem. Red beans in particular, right? It forms it forms um, a nice kind of like gel-like substance that helps clear the stomach of all the excess fat of the meal that you may have had. <laughs> yeah. So, little things you could do to alter. I was born in diabetes. Though. I was born in diabetes when I came out of St. Anne's, right? Because of the heavy medication that they had me on and that kind of thing, right? Dolly, totally in particular, I really don't care for oats, right? So, all I'm doing is I'm just having a sensible breakfast. Yes, I'm just having a sensible breakfast. More on the vegetable side together with a protein. Like this morning, I could have a good portion of that okra. That okra is going to take up like about half of my plate. Right? And I will just fry two eggs. And I'll have that. But you see that oats thing? I good. <laughs> I good. I good on the oats. Yeah. Very good, eh? Now, what is another good thing to do is like you take a whole cup full of oats and you put it like in, in, in like about two liters or like a gallon of water. Top it up, it's going to form like a nice thick water. Whenever you want water, you go to that and you drink that. Once again, that really helps reduce cholesterol tremendously. So I was telling all about this diabetes. So I was basically doing no activity guys i was just coming out of my bed having some breakfast and i went straight back into that dark room and i just lie down get up have lunch go back lie down right when i went by the doctor lo and behold i am bordering diabetes pre-diabetes and I said, doctor, what could I do here? He said, listen to me. You need to exercise for 20 minutes every day. Go and walk. He said, and cut back on as many carbs as possible. Well, guys, I took a big step. And I came down from four toes bread. Now, just imagine I wasn't exercising. I came down from four four toast bread to one slice of bread because when i started to read about all the things that diabetes could affect all your organs i see no lasana you can't afford to let this happen guys in a month time i went back to the doctor and i was out of the woods I was out of the woods and I maintained it for a while, right? I maintained it for a while and then slowly, you know how we just get back into, into it. But I am telling you, I am telling you, even if you're diabetic, excuse, even if you happen to be diabetic, guys, you had to control the carbs. Now, one of the scariest things to me is that, way boy, you telling me that if I get diabetic, I can't even eat a nice piece of paratha roti, boy. And I see Lasana. Shona, good morning. Good morning, Shona. Yes, welcome to the chat. Yeah, 
I tell myself, I see no boy Santa boy. If you could get this thing under control, every now and again, you could eat your parata roti. I don't want it to reach. I eat a lot of vegetables and fish. Real good, Deborah. Real, real good. Real good. But I see, boy, I don't want to reach a stage where I can't even look. But look, I just talk about my favorite beverage. I don't want to reach a place where I can even enjoy one nice cold lager. So I see, you know something, boy? I'm making sure I correct. And I put my, anything I put my mind to, I can do it to no people. Anything I put my mind to, I can do it. But I have to want to do it. Oh gosh, Antonia, Antonia, I'm happy to hear that. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, boy, so, boy. Once I want something and I set my mind on a determination, mm -hmm. I determine. Pomora, bonjour. Salmon often, real good, real good. So, Shona, how are you doing? Welcome to the chat, Melissa. How are you going, Melissa? Yeah, 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 Patricia Gill, I tried my best, Gill. Navin, where you saying, boy? From DB, boy. <laughs> Wellington. Everything cool? Yes, man. So happy birthday going out again to the birthday people. <laughs> we had one hour and 21 minutes. All right. We go in, we, we go in most likely for two hours, guys. Right? Two hours. And all your boys are going to get a lot hungry here. Yeah. Wow, boy. Eh? I got so <laughs> Every time I pass in there, that fella doesn't have to tell me something, you know. That man doesn't have to tell me something every time. Nice. So, let me organize up myself here. I'm going to remind me that glass is on the ledger. Yeah? Time for a fried egg, boy. Let me get the pot to fry up the egg. Get that butt bite to fry up the end. We frying up we end. We frying it up nice. Remember what I tell you? We want to do tea up a hostel where I take up the little bowl that I had the onion and garlic in. I got beat up my egg in that. Right? Just remember. They make sense. Let's keep going and get a whole stack clean things. Wash up boy, have any sink. Use what you can use. Eric Bash. What are you saying, brother? We need pop, 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 pop. I want to eat that egg. I want to eat that egg. I want to eat that egg. Boy, I want to eat that egg. And I keep it simple. I ain't putting nothing in this egg. Just salt and black pepper. Nice. Just a little bit of salt. The black pepper, black pepper, and this make it is so nice, 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 nice. Oh, good, look at you. See what I pick up? <laughs> Jesus, Lord. yeah, Jira egg this morning. That is not as good now. <clears throat> and guys, never forget to turn on the stove. It's a good thing to do if you want to cook, 
turn the stove on. We need there with some nice black pepper. Nice. And as always try to show all you. It's important. You could you don't want to spend the whole day in this kitchen. So while that pot is hot, let me start to put back some stuff. Alright, so I choose to use olive oil. Alright, so let me show you something that I used to do back home, right? Let me say you don't have any um, cooking spray and you end up throwing too much oil. I'm going to show you something that I used to do. So I am deliberately going to throw too much oil here. Right? I am deliberately going to throw too much oil. So, I end up throwing too much oil here. So this is what you're going to do, guys. Right? Make sure, now remember, oil is flammable then you have your cup on the side here and you throw your oil off and you drain properly right so now we have our well okay so tomorrow now of course you're gonna cover this tomorrow please god I can throw back in all this oil coat that pot again I take off the stove. I was selling all you it creates a steam and now all that stuff is just coming off quite easily okay 
that is the flavor of the okra. So easy is wiping away. Just by covering the pot to the end, we're able to lift all of our goodness. And guys, you could have as much of this as you want if you research. How much in a cup of okros? I am sure it is way under 150. I just show you all you how much. If I am hungry, look at okros. Look at okros I am able to eat here. Together with two fried eggs. And I good to go here. Hmm, now nah boy. Call him for the table, boy. Hmm. Now, one of the things I am trying to do also, guys, right, is this. I am trying my best. Nice. Nice, Leslie, and enjoy. Right. I am trying my best to let my eating experience last no less than 15 minutes. Isaiah, yes, good morning. First bite for Gina, second bite for me. All right. <laughs> All right, so 757. All right, so by 8, 8, 12. I shouldn't finish this meal before 8, 12. All right, so. I will have to take an egg because I don't think that first bite of okros will work for her. Right, so guys, I'm going to need the egg. Let me just see my grease. Amen. Thank you, Dinesh boy. All right, so guys, simple fry egg, just salt and black pepper. You saw the method. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Pomerak. Well, Michael. I'll give you a combination, buddy. Gosh, what do they, buddy? Again, are we in? Mm hmm. So, let me tell you something. You see this meal here? Two eggs. Maybe somebody could um, do something for me. Judy, if you have the time, just eggs. Just give me the calorie um the calories of our egg. How many calories in our egg? Don't put fried or anything like that. How many calories in an egg? We're gonna do a quick calculation here, guys. Of how much this this meal is. Mm. Mm. 
That will grow. Tops. Low and slow. For almost about 40 minutes. I didn't have to attend it as all you could see. Eggs. All right. 150 calories per egg. Right. So I did two eggs. Bisham. Blessings. Two eggs. 300 calories. A tablespoon of olive oil probably has like about 90 calories in it. As all you could see, I put olive oil into it, I coated the pot, and I scrape it off. So, if only 10 calories remain in there, that's a lot. That's 310 calories for the eggs alone. Right? How, how many calories in a cup of... How many calories in a cup of uncooked okros? If you could calculate that for me, um, Judy G, how many calories in one cup of uncooked okra? Mm hmm. Thanks, Dinesh. So, Dinesh has some good information up there, guys. 23. Okay. I will say I'm having like about a cup and a half. Let me call it two cups. Two cups of okra. That's 66 calories. And I will say, let's add in, let me be generous, 90, right? Because I would have put like about two tablespoons of olive oil to cook this, right? So let me say right now I consume it. A full tablespoon right so that's 90 so 90 and 66 is 156 so 156 plus 310 how many calories is that somebody could do that calculation 310 plus 166 that's 466 476 470 all right 480 calories right here right at max right also oh, two eggs so 150 so guys this meal technically did not cross all this food is equivalent to our triples doubles our triples have more calories than this can you imagine that guys all this food that i have look at uh, this is going to fill my belly look at this guys look at this this plate there is no way that this play, because we saw everything that went into it, this cannot cross 500 calories. So you see what you could be doing with your health? Now, of course, you might see that it is expensive. But what about if you have an early heart attack? It's no less than $150,000, guys, to see about a heart attack, to have a a stent or two implanted and then i can tell you daddy's medication cost more than three thousand dollars per month if you as the father in the home need to do what you need to do to have good health for your children you and mommy could do it be children okay they burn out much more calories than you. Them could be a little careless. But you could do it, mom. And you could do it, dad. And as I say, throw your oil in the pot. Have that cup on the side. And just keep draining it. 
when you're not cooking with too much oil, you have to be controlling your heat. Thanks, Patricia. You need to be controlling your heat. Right? As you can see, we did not fry this okra in any tremendous amount of oil. We didn't. So lower your heat. Go and do what you have to do. Let the okra take your time and burn. Mm -hmm. So when you check it out, all right, if I'm a batch, if I live with me alone in the campus, right? How much are I love bag of okra right now? How much for a little bag of okra? But let me see about um about 12 okra in it. How much for that? How about five dollars, ten dollars? How much for it? Let me cost all the meal. <clears throat> about eight dollars. So let me see. Hey, Tara, morning, morning. Hope you all have a good weekend. Tell the girls that I'm hello for me. Right. Let me see. For argument's sake, this is $20 in okra I cook. If I want this okra to stretch, I could have put two or three whole onions in it. Chop it up. So that going and bulk it up for me. Onions is a cheap thing. Right? Onions is what poor people just have to stretch food with. One egg is not 100. Yeah, so, yeah, I think they, they did over a calculation for it at the beach, right? So, $20 in okra. Two eggs, how much for an egg? About $3 for an egg. So, I will say if I fry two more eggs, I have enough for breakfast and lunch. So, $20 in okros, $40, I mean, four eggs. How much for an egg? We cost now this meal, but we know we could get two meals from this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She was now very dolly. Yeah. So two eggs is actually 150 calories, right? So we know this meal is well within. Lisa Story Hub, how are you going? You have a wonderful day also. Are we going to find out the price of an egg? Right. So I show all you a tip this morning. Right, Vishnu? You throw your oil in the pot. And then you coat the pot. And you have a cup on the side and you drain off all the oil you drain off all the oil so what you end up with is a well coated pot two dollars for an egg all right so let me be generous twenty dollars in okra ten dollars in eggs thirty dollars this meal that i'm eating here right now is would $15. $15 and you know that you're putting some good nutrition in your body because this is way more nutritious. Look at the amount of fiber that is going in to your stomach today which is going to help with bowel movements which is going to help with cholesterol problems, right? Lots of vitamins, lots of minerals, good source of protein, very minute amount of fat inside of this meal right other than the fat content of the egg itself all right i will put no more than a hundred calories which is coming from a healthy source of olive oil right remember when you burn olive oil it loses the value i have never burned this olive oil here this morning so this olive oil is holding its nutrition for me <clears throat> If you want to stretch it a little more, you could remove some of this okra. And this is where you have your fresh salad. 
in the fridge and you hoot it and you replace some of this okra with some of the pressed salad. Right. So, $15 and you could have a proper meal. Mm -hmm. Eat your food nice and slow. Enjoy it. You spend a lot of time making it. Enjoy your meal. Save up. Right? One cup of coke okra, 35 calories. Now I know exactly what I put into this. majority of my meals has been things like this right things like this um eggs either melon gen okra tomatoes pumpkin if i do like a tuna tuna i tend to more enjoy that with a fresh salad Yes, it does. Have a good day. Be safe. Guys, the okra is so good. Mm. All right. 15 minutes now I've been eating. I am already beginning to get that satisfied feeling. Because I've eaten too fast. That's another thing. Sometimes you're eating something, right? As somebody told me, the first three bites is the most delicious bites. And that's why we eat so fast, because it tastes so good. You don't want, you don't want to miss out on that first couple of delicious bites. You ever see people? Right, I myself do it, right? Malaya, Malaya, Malaya. Right? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. <laughs> oh, gosh. Please excuse me. I mean, in the beginning, you might want to take a little cheat. As you can see, it's a very low calorie diet here this morning, right? So you might want to cheat. Go ahead. Toast a slice of bread. Toast a slice of bread, cut it in half. Pick up the first piece. Have some of this, right? Just take a small little bite. Maybe I might end up only eating half of the slice. Right? So you have the comfort of knowing, hey, look, I have my bread here. Right? The human mind is very complex, you know. Just knowing that, hey, I have my bread here just in case I really want to eat that piece of bread, my bread here. But when you're here, you decide, why you we even buy no bread? You go get up from this table and you go and buy bread. And when you bring it home, you know what? You want to eat the whole loaf of bread. That's how the mind is. So, guys, let me comfort. 
how will I say plate here? Cut your toes, maybe into two pieces or four pieces. Take up a piece, you want to feel the bread, all right? Cool. You want to eat it? Eat it. Like this near some good physical company. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm real happy to have all you here. Don't get me wrong. Peter. I send an old love to those of you who may be bedridden. Those of you who may be living in a home, love, the God comfort your heart for those of you who are in the hospital or a nursing home, for those of you who might be on your dying bed, right? Extending out, extending lots of love to y'all. You see, like with that piece of hot pepper there, guys. Remember, you could be creative also. You could fold some of this into this to create an omelette. Or you could beat some of this up together with the eggs. So now you have like a um, okra cook up an egg. So you can do your different variations, right? So this week, we could look forward to a couple of lives where now I could prepare a whole set of this and just put it in my fridge and make it easy for me. But in order to keep the show going nice, right? What we could look forward to this week, guys, is healthy breakfast. Healthy breakfast, maybe we'll tune in every now and again, maybe do our lunch, right? But the format I will be taking this week is let us focus on some healthy breakfast. I will show you all how I am going to eat this week. Right now, I stand at 207 pounds this morning. Let's see if God spare life next week. How I am where I'm going to be at. So you're going to follow what I'm eating this week. I will always announce, like if I come back on tomorrow, please God, I will tell you all what I had for lunch today and what I had for dinner. Right? So, I will see if I can also document this. No soft drink whatsoever, no juice. Maybe some water. Maybe I squeeze a couple of drops of lime juice in it or slice up some, we have some lemons there, slice up some lemons, um, throw it into a, a mug, top it off with some water, 
right? So just like a flavor infused water. That's all I'm having. If I'm having coffee, maybe just a touch of milk in it. No sugar. No sugar. The only thing I'm having sugar with is if I'm going to stew some chicken. Right? One, one, one. I see it, you know. I see it, Melissa. I see it. I see it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is a positive week. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good, um, Judy. Too slowly. I have been having this meal for the last 23 minutes, guys. And I enjoyed it. Venita, good morning. Right, so, Venita, this week I'm showing people how to eat healthy. Right? I tell them, when I started to exercise three weeks ago, I was weighing 212 pounds. Now I'm down to 207. So we're going to see this week where I'm going to reach. I'll be showing all of what I'm eating. Right now I'm having some delicious eggs with okra. We did our calculation. This meal is falling anywhere between 400 and I feel it's less. 400 to 500 calories. Oh, Gerard. Your belly growing fast. <laughs> this is Gerard. <laughs> Do you want to see my belly growing fast than I'm here? <laughs> yeah, like... All right, and I want to say a special good morning to Damayanti Singh. Good morning. Fruit breakfast, pop up bananas, grapes, apples, and a cup of green tea. Good for moms. Tell her to keep up the good work. Joe, are you in trouble, you know? So, guys, we're looking forward to some healthy meals together with Santa Trini for life this week. For this entire week my goal is no less no less than 20 minutes walk every day so i will be walking for no less than 20 minutes every single day and i will be watching and keeping a very strict diet no bears this week no lagers none right next week we will see where we stand Monday of next week. Right? So, it ain't too late. Oh, if you join me, join me. Join me. Start today. Just not even walking. You're accustomed to drinking three 20 ounce walk. All right. Here we're going and have Let me change that today. You could still have your tree coke, but the baby size. And I ain't talking about the glass bottle, not too small. Start with, you know, it have a, a in between size, it's like a plastic bottle. I think it's something like about 272. Uh, all in all, I'm talking about the baby coke. Let's call it the baby coke, right? So here we're going on. Start with Sana, you will have them ladies running you down. Oh gosh. <laughs> yes. Start by doing that, guys. Move down from a 20 ounce cook to a BB cook. Right? Stick to that for two days. Then see if you can go down to the glass bottle or just do away with one of them. So, right there, you cut back right you cut back your soft drink intake right by half no i'm just doing this patricia and michael because remember it has some people really have yes and eric i am making a concise effort as of today i am making a concise effort guys right i was reading up yesterday on weaning yourself from cigarettes I am choosing the method of weaning myself, right? So, for those of you who are also smokers, what I recommend is this. Let's say you smoke 30 cigarettes a day. Every two days, we're going to knock off one. Every two days, 
you're knocking off one. That's not much. That is not much. Easy does it. Easy does it. The slower you come off of things, the slower you begin to improve, it's the more permanent it's going to be. Right? So, easy steps. Everybody have their approach. Some people are able to do it cold turkey. Some people are able to use other sensation um, devices. Right? It's what works for you. I am going to try my best. Right? I am going to try my best. Yes, and Michael is correct, guys. If you could knock off the soda in total, right? If you could knock it off in total, better yet. Better yet. But do something. Do something today. Right? Do something today. I just, all I do in here is just giving all the encouragement. At the end of the day, we are all adults and nothing before it's time. Remember, it's your mind. It's not mine's. My mind is my mind and your mind is your mind. the garlic and the pepper and the onions next time i'm definitely going to double up on the amount of puran up in it mm. guys we reach it to our mark. I want to thank everybody. Once again, as usual, thank you for all your support. Moderators, thanks for the wonderful job. Judy, thank you for doing the calculations for me. Dolly, Auntie Mish, all right. Hope everybody, right, has a wonderful day today. Yes, don't worry. Frags is going to get something to eat, right? And read, um, Read Vanita's comment. Read, read her comment, guys. MG. All right. So I want to thank everybody. Do have a wonderful day today. Be positive in all that you do. Remember that easy does it. Little steps can carry you to great places. Remember that a road without obstacles probably leads to no way. That is from Che Guevara. A road without obstacles probably leads to nowhere. Guys, have a wonderful day today. And as usual, make sure that you subscribe to Sana 3D for Life. Remember to hit that notification bell. You could never tell when we're going to go live. Guys, have a wonderful day today. Be blessed. Send in love.